Hi everyone, it's Heidi here and I'm just coming to you today with a little bit of Christmas uh, advice. So Christmas parties are everywhere. Um, we've got ours today. Major, major mum fail and I forgot to bake the banana bread. I didn't realise it was Friday because I had a sick child a few days ago. So anyway, major mum fail moment. Um, so today I want to talk about parties. Um, I've previously written about ch children with allergies and birthday parties because it really comes from both sides. It comes from having a child with allergies if you have a child who has food allergies or if you are hosting a party and there's going to be more than say seven or eight kids there there's a chance that there's going to be a kid there with food allergies because it's so common nowadays so food allergies and birthday parties or christmas parties can cause a lot of anxiety so we've got a few um tips here uh, of things that can hopefully keep the anxiety levels a bit lower um, and help you all have a fun time so I've got some notes here, so if I keep looking down, then you'll know why. So if, if, you, um, if you're hosting a party, a Christmas party, um, for your child, and there is possibly children coming with food allergies, there's a few things that you should do pre the party, just to really um, make things go a bit smoother, okay? So the one thing you can do is ask ahead. People don't mind this. Ask ahead, does anyone have any dietary requirements or allergies? And it sounds really obvious, but honestly, it puts their mind at rest and it will put your mind at rest just knowing. Um, don't leave children with food allergies off the guest list because it's just really rubbish. And any exclusion of any child is just is not very nice. And it can be really easily dealt with, um, uh, having a child with food allergies or, or dealing with children with food allergies. So please don't leave anyone off the guest list who has food allergies. It might be better to make the food yourself if you're anxious about it, um, rather than cater in, because it's just, I just find it really difficult when people cater in. You know, it's just very, you don't really know what's exactly in it or if there's been contamination. So it's often easier to, um, cook things yourself than, than catering when it comes to birthday parties and things. Um, do you know what to do if a child has an allergic reaction? Yeah, get empowered, ask the parent uh, what you should do if the child has an allergic reaction. Um, and that again will make you and them feel a lot more confident. Ask the parent of the child with the food allergy if they'd like to supply the food because that um, could be a really good win-win for everyone. Um, then they know exactly what's in the food. Their child maybe feels safe, depending on their age. You feel a lot better, um, sort of takes the onus off you a bit. Think about non-edible treats for the party bags. So there's heaps of things out there you can give for party bags that don't have to be um, revolved around food. Um, and give them a little housekeeping, the kids, a little housekeeping rule, depending on their age. I know I've got a six-year-old and a three-year-old and I tell them not to share food and it goes in one ear and out the other. But depending on the age of the child, if you can give them a little bit of housekeeping rules as to not share food, then that's a really good tip. That would be like really helpful if they just don't share things. Um, and then on the other side of the wheel, if your child has food allergies and you're attending birthday parties or Christmas parties, Sorry, I'm so used to talking about birthday parties. Um, is the host aware that they have food allergies? Obviously, as a, as a parent of a child with allergies, you're not going to be afraid to tell people um, that your child has allergies. And, you know, can you, can you give them a little bit of a rundown of what food will be there? Because, you know, it's, it's, it can be really dangerous for your child. So, um, and what food that they're allergic to. Um, is, your, is your child old enough to tell people how um, about their food allergy and what they're allergic to? Um, do they have their um, EpiPen for starters, which is really, really important. Do they have their EpiPen with them? Um, it should be with them at all times anyway, but especially um, if they're going to parties and they're going to be there on their own. And do they have their antihistamine? Remember, antihistamine is really just for comfort measure, but do they have their antihistamine and their action plan with them too? Have you gone through the EpiPen with the host? Now ask them if you want them to go through the EpiPen because we know that giving the EpiPen is relatively simple. It's the emotions around it that makes it tricky. Okay, so go through the EpiPen with them and I'm sure they'll be very grateful for that. Um, make sure the parent hosting is comfortable to give the EpiPen. Maybe go through with the mum and the dad or someone else who's gonna be there as well because it can be a lot easier for someone else to administer first aid um, than maybe the parent, you know, it can be a lot less emotional. 
And lastly, um, yeah, as a parent uh, of a, a child with food allergy, you can offer to remain close by so that the parent who's holding the party feels safe in the knowledge that you're a quick phone call away should they have any questions or if they felt that, you know, maybe there was an allergic reaction coming or something had happened or just to know that you're there. I think that's really, really good so that you can give your child that bit of independence. They can be at the party, um, but you are just a phone call away and you're just up the street. Um, so I hope this has been helpful and I hope you all have wonderful Christmas parties and wonderful Christmas. Um, and any questions, you know, you can always um, send us a private message. We can email us through our website. Um, otherwise, we hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Take care. Bye bye.